Cooler. So Cooler is pretty amazing in the fact that you can have a color wheel within Photoshop and you have complete control over the selected harmony rules or you can start making your own harmony rules just by clicking and dragging this around. You can also go to custom and you have complete control over everything. So you can make very, very weird color rules. You're going to find that in most cases you are actually not making that big of a change with the color harmonies because when you're moving these around looking for colors that look good together you're going to find that you accidentally stumbled upon a harmony that um, it closely matches most of these other ones so you might find that you you space them out like this and you get this cool color harmony and you'd be surprised as long as these colors are next to each other you can start really playing around with color a lot more but what's really nice is if I have two weird colors like these I can start playing around with color even further. I can use Alt on the keyboard and click on these. And I can add them into Cooler. And Cooler will formulate something based upon whatever harmony I choose. Like complementary. And com complementary is used a lot within like football teams. Let's say, well, uh, blue and yellow. Okay. And here it allows you to get different um, shades of those colors, tints of them. So again, let me capture this. And let me choose a harmony that just kind of looks maybe nice as far as that goes. If I use complementary, I'm kind of limited to what I can use in this. But I'm looking for a color that looks good with red. Well, what looks good with red? Um, if I look here, I have green, okay, and if I go into red and choose this, you'll also know it has a green in there. So these two colors have green in common as far as something that would blend. And you're going to find that throughout most of these that um, if I choose red, I have green. And if I choose purple, I have, in this one, I don't have any green but I have something very close to green and that's yellow. Okay. And if you notice also, this is very close to this color. So I have both these colors almost near inside my actual um, harmony. I have the red, which is over here and I have that purple, which is here. And these two are very close to each other. So I could choose green or in this case, I can choose this okra. And if I double click this, it'll activate it. And then I can set it up here. There's maybe a possibility for these three to kind of coexist with each other. Let's try a green. Okay, that's a really stark green right there. But I noticed in the complementary color, I had a very nice mossy green. And then here I had a very vivid type green. So if I chose a green between those two, and I'm looking at in this range right here, I might find something that kind of balances between these. And you have to double click really hard with this. I don't know why. Okay. I like this. This has good balance. This has poor balance, but that's it's a very subjective thing with colors. Okay? So I can say, well, these look good together, and your or whoever is going to say, well, no, they look bad together. But at least I kind of was thinking about the color wheel and the harmony that exists between them. Of course, it'd be really easy for me to say, well, um, let's just desi design something that looks good together. You know, maybe I'll just use a triacle and then I have three colors and then I can use any of these three colors together. And you should click with the mouse, maybe. There we go. I'm using my Wacom drawing tablet.
there we go we got three good colors that match each other and if I want more colors to come off of these well that's when I start talking about HSB and to get there I just go to color so now I have the three colors that match to get more colors out of these what I have to do is now rank them in the monochromic range so if I have maybe a fourth color I want to introduce to this I have to use maybe a tint okay and this is how you develop a color palette maybe this yellow I'll just choose a really bright yellow now there's several ways to do this you know you could start blending in color a little bit you could set these next to each other but that is by far the easiest way to start developing a palette once I get these colors near each other you'll notice that I can take them and blend them together using very many tools so let's go in here and just highlight this section that should move there we go and I could take this color on top of this color and then use my one nifty little tool it is called the smudge tool I can select deselect these and in my brush palette I can choose to scatter this a little bit so what happens is it wobbles back and forth and blends these two together and since they're on their own layer they're not going to pick up any gray cool so now out of those two colors I've just produced this color this color okay so you can see how this quickly becomes one of those things that you know you can especially when you're painting a living room or something like that you can really start me playing around with colors and what look good together based upon cooler based upon a few tricks that I show you in the next video I want to cover this a little bit further and see what tools are available to tweak out color